Good morning, everyone. When I was asked to say farewell, I thought, uh-uh. A word is my family. And a family never really says farewell. In German, we say Auf Wiedersehen, which means see you again. And that is what it feels like for me. It will never be a goodbye or a farewell. I have been so proud that this family has grown to what it is now and seeing it growing even much further is an amazing experience. I want to take you back, just a little flashback, nine years ago, then Vicky said to me, you know, I have this idea and I hatched a few conceptual ideas about this with Peter Matlin, who was then the director for Africa of the Rockefeller Foundation, at a six-hour layover at London Heathrow Airport. And here are some uh, flip charts that you can look at and we can talk about it. Please help me write a proposal because you've been working in the national system with women scientists for over 10 years. So I said, okay, you know, <laughs> after initially not being so available, but I was intrigued by the idea because it's true. I have been working with people who are now award fellows, who are now award mentors, who are now very famous people in Africa, and saw them as brilliant scientists, but struggling with the support that they were getting from the institutions, with the recognition that they were more or less denied within the institutions, with the lack of visibility and with the lack of voice. So Vicky's idea of doing something about not only them as scientists, but them growing into real science leaders, that was something very intriguing to me. So we started off, actually I remember very well, I invited three scientists who are now <laughs> very eminent scientists, um, to a, an interview just to see, you know, a, like a focus group discussion. What is it that could make you visible, that could make you your voice being heard, that could make your research go out there where it's needed most? To the farmers, to the communities, to the smallholder women that we all care so much about and that we know produce so much of Africa's food, feed Africa's families. So the first 11 fellows were taken on board in 2005. And look where we are now. Look where we are now. 320 award fellows, not even counting those pilot fellows. This is a long, long way that we have come. Um, I am a scientist myself. Some of you know that. I have a degree in horticulture and then I did my PhD in soil science. And so for me, the biggest revolution in a word was seeing the science skills being recognized as something really important. When we started with our pilot fellows, yes, we sent them to two conferences actually over a two-year fellowship and that was proved too hard to implement. But we only learned how much they also craved skills and knowledge in the sciences. So when we designed a word, Vicky had a very, very strong urge to build that up. We included not only smaller things like membership in a professional association, which as you have all told us over the years, has changed so much of your lives as scientists, of your networks, of your visibility, but much bigger. We introduced courses in science and proposal writing so that you would not be depending on the funds, the scarce funds that national governments, that institutions avail to you to do the research you care about, about most. So, and this course evolved, as you might know, into a course that now covers much more than just science or proposal writing skills. It's a course that introduces you, most of all, and most important of all, to being 
gender responsive in your approach to science, in your approach to communications, and in the way you implement and feedback your science, in the way you share with communities what you think is something that is needed most by them and what you now know is needed most by them because you have done your research in a gender responsive way. That's where we want to see you. That's where we want to see you, okay? We have also introduced something that um, not all of you will benefit from, but we are proud that we have a component that specifically um, builds advanced science skills. So an area that you feel is so relevant to build your capacity as a scientist, to build your skills as a researcher, we offer the opportunity to work for three to nine months as a center of excellence, or at least to take a short course that changes your life. I've talked to one of you yesterday who went to the University of California, Berkeley, and she said it was an amazing experience. Just three weeks changed the approach she looks at her work. And this is what makes us so proud. So, I'm not going to talk much longer because Vicky will address us and Vicky will say her Auf Wiedersehen to you. I'm sure she also doesn't want to say goodbye. <laughs> and I just want to let you know that you're all, all very much in my heart and I'm so, so proud. So I don't want to cry. I'm leaving it here. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Helga.